Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 22nd through to the 28th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have the Devil in the upright position, followed then by the King of Wands. Next, we have the... Ten of Pentacles, followed then by the Two of Cups. And lastly, we have the Six of Wands in the upright position. All of your cards are in the upright position. Your overall energy is the little devil here. What is happening? We want to hear from you in the comment section below. <laughs> Are you dealing with some type of temptation? The devil can often come up as a temptation card. Uh, just letting us know that you could be <laughs> struggling with temptation all week long. Now, sometimes the devil can represent simply fear. Le allowing fear to hold us back from accepting some new opportunities or new circumstances because perhaps we're just afraid of where it could lead or what could happen um you know we all succumb to fear from time to time it could be that there is something going on in that respect for some of you the devil can point to addictions ocd um uh, all kinds of addictions are, you know, come about in many, many ways. Everything from gambling to overeating to shopping can be addictions, whatever the situation is. Now, keep in mind, these are just general reads. Just make, if it makes sense in your scenario, just take it in that direction. If not, then don't worry about trying to make it fit. So, yes, it could be because, you know, the addictions are there. Say, for example, we have just gone on a diet and we're trying very hard to stick to that diet. All of a sudden, boom, we're put in a situation where we have to go to this wedding and this wedding has like tons of food everywhere. And it's things that don't, that are not on our diet. And this is a case of being extremely tempted. It's that type of thing or hanging out with a group of friends that do the kind of thing that you are trying to stay away from again, could bring the temptation around. It could be about a relationship. It could be anything under the sun. But it, um, whatever it is specifically for you, just like I said, take it in, in that respect. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the King of Wands in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Fire, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, the King of Wands is uh, quite the go-getter. This is a person who loves taking action. You could be embodying the energies of the King of Wands, and maybe at the beginning of the week, you want to take action. Take action on what, you ask? Well, the Wands represent things such as business and enterprise, uh, passion, um, adventure. <laughs> the King of Wands is very adventurous. Um, as well as travel. So it could be some of you perhaps want to travel uh, and it's a huge temptation or some of you could be wanting to, um, you know, get passionate about somebody and, and maybe that's a huge temptation. Others, like, I don't know. It's, again, general read. So just... Let us know in the comment section if this is resonating for you and do tell us how so. You could be wanting to take a business uh, offer, but yet, you know, fear is holding you back. There's many, many ways we can look at this because it's just a general read. But yeah, the King of Wands is there. Could be uh, maybe for some of you, the King of Wands is your temptation. Uh, it's interesting, interesting stuff. But the King of Wands just in general likes to keep things moving, keep things, but Gemini does as well too. So perhaps this could be, especially if you have fire in your chart, this could be another aspect of you. Maybe you just want to keep things going, keep things moving. You're really passionate this week or you're dealing with somebody who is. Next card up is the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. If... Um, if you're hoping to acquire a fortune this week, you could very well be doing that. Sometimes the Ten of Pentacles can represent inheritance. Uh, it's 
associated with generational wealth. It could be inheriting property. It could be inheriting money. It could be a nice uh, bonus is coming your way. It could be, you know, perhaps if you have anything going on in the courts, litigation or something like that, this could be a payout um, that comes towards you. Uh, it could be a huge tax refund anything like that. So beautiful. It could be that even uh, you get a, a raise or a bonus, sinus bon a signing bonus for a job. So really, really good on the financial front. 10, it's, it represents the, you know, the maximum excitement. <laughs> so it's not a little bit of money. It's like a lot of money in terms of uh, what you need. Maybe some of you need a, a bankroll to uh, bank a new business or something like that, but really nice energy around money. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Two of Cups, a really nice energy uh, for relationships as well. The Two of Cups is known as that beautiful soulmate connection, that soulmate uh, energy. You could be m meeting somebody new that feels like somebody you've always um, wanted to meet or, you know, that you just have this connection like, wow, where did you come from? Others of you, this could indicate you and your partner could be your, you know, husband or, or wife and you could be making a plan about something, maybe how to uh, spend this money <laughs> uh, and you're just really on the same page about something. This is connecting and going, wow, I'm so glad that, you know, that we, we talked about this and find out you're on the same page with me is amazing. It's a great connection. Uh, but it could be somebody new, it could be somebody you just started talking to, and perhaps this person is your temptation. <laughs> so whatever, you know, whichever end of the spectrum you're on, uh, the Two of Cups is still a beautiful energy. It's a really nice synergy connection with another person where you feel like, you know, you're, you can finish each other's sentences, you're that much on board with each other. <clears throat> And then it lands in the, with the six of wands in the upright position. This is the victory card. Victory all the way, baby. So it looks like for you, Gemini, there is a victory in love and money. So if those are your topics for this week, Gemini, you're going to be very, very happy with this week because this is a victory card. And you have a great money card and a great relationship card here. So beautiful for some of you, perhaps the King of Wands could even be in a partnership too. Maybe this uh, King of Wands is somebody you're going to partner up with and they could pr turn out to be the perfect uh, business partner for you. But either way, you're, you land in a beautiful, beautiful victory. So what a great reading here for you. This is like a lot of attention being bestowed upon you. Even if there isn't any major victory, th this is still going to shine the spotlight on you in some aspect of your life and uh, let you know what a great job you have done with something. It could be a work project. It could be something. It's a lot of attention. It looks happy fabulous, fabulous week. I hope it resonates for all of you uh, Geminis. Just be careful of the temptation or fear holding you back, whichever end of the spectrum you're coming from um, on this uh, week. So thank you so much for joining me. I also want to remind you of the Sunday night podcast that airs every week on this channel at 6 p.m. Uh, Sunday, just come and be a part. Uh, if you can make it, just come and be a part of the audience. You can come and be a part of the chat or just watch it live. Um, yeah, either way, you can also watch it on the, uh, the replay if you miss it live. So that's all I wanted to tell you other than I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.